But I think it's also considered what your own responses are. And maybe take a moment to step back and just think, what's happening here? Um, how do I feel? Um, am I ready to speak to people about this? It's really difficult having the conversations when you see that somebody is either really rushed for time or is kind of looking at a checklist literally or you kind of have that feeling that they're doing that. So just remembering the emotion and I know sometimes it must be important to detach it but actually likewise sometimes you need to keep keep it emotive because otherwise it doesn't feel real to that person, it just feels like a a process that's that's happening to them rather than something they really need to consider. Although it might be a sort of routine experience for the professional, mm -hmm. it's an individual experience for the family. And just to show respect and care yeah. for that family at that time. And appreciate that their reactions might be different. They could be anything from weepy and upset to angry. So I think honesty and just how would you like to be dealt with, and that's not dealt with, that's the wrong word, but how, how would you like to um, somebody to speak to you in that situation? What would you expect as an individual? You know, if your father or somebody close to you was going through that, and, and if you think about it through those lenses, then I think it that would probably help. I think it's very important that you consider how how that will be. If that's your last experience of life, it would be nice to have somebody that really cares. Girls and guys get home's funeral. Right, he's left two staff. Aye, we did. <laughs> and everybody came, and actually one of the carers, um, Russell, oh, yeah. helped carry my mum's coffin. Yeah. Because we just mm. thought that they were mm. such a the important part of her life. They made her end of life, as I keep saying, a lovely experience. So, and they were real, right to the very end because Russell carried her coffin. Mm -hmm. the, the care they gave my mum, I, I can't say enough. It was absolutely, absolutely. Amazing, but the care they gave us because there's times that we couldn't cope, and um, we had lots of difficult times when we couldn't cope, and they were supporting us as well as caring for my mum. So it was a, it was a whole unit. It wasn't just them looking after mum. It was them supporting us, caring for my mum. Usually had quite a lot to do. Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you must have drove you crazy because we were quite an in-your-face family. No. <laughs> You were Helen's family. <laughs> <laughs> and you just embraced us and either calmed us down or got on ways or, or, you know, there was never looking away. But then again, so many times I come to you with my problems. Have you were sitting in the. Do you know what I mean? Just like, oh, bag of you to tell you. Oh, no. Do you know? Nice seeing you. Kale gives them that. I do. I've talked about it. You take care. Thank you so much. <laughs>